Hi everyone and welcome to Programming Nature. In our previous video, we uh, created a registration form, a complete authentication and validation. In this video, I will be walking you through on how to implement the login uh, uh, form, the login system. So to do that, uh, first of all, we need to uh, listen to the submit event from the uh, submit button on our login page by any user trying to log in to our website so we listen to that and then we collect credentials from the input fields on the form And after that, what we do next is uh, we select from the user's table an email that corresponds to the email that the user has entered in the input field. If there exists an email on our database table that corresponds to this email, then the user is valid. And to do that, also, also what we also want us to do is uh, also have to check whether the user's password also corresponds to the input password by the user. So if that if this uh, 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 checks pass, then that means the user exists in our database table, and we want to lock the user in into their own account. And for that, well, if the if our query passes, and that, that is if it returns a, a boolean true. That means our query successfully was successfully executed, and what we will do next is we have to check if the uh, number of columns that our query returns. That means the column rows in our database table if they are greater than one. I mean, or greater than zero, which means that if they are greater than zero, therefore there is a record in our database table, which means we check the record if it corresponds to. Uh, uh, the checks we initially passed in our query so if they correspond then we want to ask we want to lock in the user else we want to throw an error and to do that we're passing the error in an array the our array that we and the array we initially uh initialized in our last video so we set the error in that array by using the array underscore push function So we check first of all validation, form validation, that means we are checking if the username and the, oh, the username, no, no, let me, I will not use the username for this, I will use the email, if the fields are being filled, yes, and if they are being filled, if they are not, if they are not being filled, we want to throw errors to the user. And uh, if the fields have been filled, what we want to do is we check if our error array has any record. That means that if our error array has any item in it, if there exist items, therefore it means there are errors in it and want to throw those, we want to display those errors. Else if there are no errors, they want to proceed to logging in the user to, into their account. But to do that, we we'll first of all have to encrypt the user's password. In order to match it with the password we use during registering when we were registr uh, registering the user because whenever a user registers on this platform uh, their password is being encrypted so for the user to be locked in the password must correspond to the password that exists in our database
now if our user has been if all the checks pass and there is no else they want to set since we're using sessions in our initial video we want to set our session our sessions and you will uh, notice that here we don't have our on our database table we don't have the first name and the last name fields uh, uh, columns so what we want to want to do now is uh, we just set those to some default value like certified for you to access without a first name and a last name that means you're an admin so i'll just do that in a moment for now let's test this out Now we have an error on line 70, which means, yeah, there's a semicolon error. Always make sure to end your lines in PHP with semicolons. And now you see no errors. Let's try out, uh, let's check our database. We have no record in our database. Let's try accessing without any record in the database see which errors will be displayed and now you see we have an error saying user with the email doesn't exist yes it's true because on our database table we have no user yet so let's go and insert uh, manually insert a user into our database and here you see that our password is not encrypted when we do manual uh, ins uh, insert insertion of a user of a record in our database our user's id is not encrypted but remember that in our back end we were encrypting the password before logging in the user so if you try to log in you still get the same error saying user with this email doesn't exist because we did a check we did ask our query to check whether the password corresponds to the password we, which we are passing so for that we Right, before we fix that, I want to show you some few changes I did in our login that PHP and in our uh, home in the page. I did some uh, changes as you can see. We have uh, some checks that means we are using some if conditions for us to display our credentials. Like in our last video, we didn't do these two checks, so I actually just did it before as we are starting the video. So we are checking if the user's uh, last name is said that means if, if you don't do this check remember that when we try to access if we manually install manually insert a uh, user in our database table i'll try to uh, log in the user you see that uh, we will not have the user's first name and last name so we'll be getting some errors so to avoid those errors we need to set some default values which is what i'm doing now yes. So now let's go inside another manual user. Let's manually insert another user. Sorry. Now let's try logging in the user. Let's first of all try logging in the user that was first of all in our database, the initial user in our database, the one with the uh, this password was so encrypted. This one will try that. You see, the user has been locked in, and the user has a first and a last name. Yeah, they have been displayed. So let's destroy the account. Go back to our login page. Now, refresh our database to see that uh, the user's record has been removed, completely removed from our database. Table. So let's go try registering this email. Uh, logging in this email, sorry. 
the same password and now you see we have been locked in but here you see that our first name and last names have some default values classified which have a text decoration of a uh, underline they have been crossed saying the first name and last name are classified i want to do some small changes that means i want that only admins a welcome message should be for admins it means only admins can get that notification saying the first name and last name are classified that's just not good but uh actually just for the purpose of this video now when we refresh our form you see we have welcome admin and uh it now it now looks good yeah that's all i had for you today and uh thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe for more videos